Hello and welcome to library class. Good to see you again. This week we're still looking at people who help us in the community and in particular we're looking at the police. Now you might have already taken a look at the World Book Encyclopedia as part of our library catalogue to find out information about the police for yourselves or you might already just know a lot about the police. You know for example that police keep us safe in towns and cities and help keep us safe on the roads. You may know that the police can help us if we get lost or come to the rescue if we're in danger. You probably also know that they have some special things to help them. First is their uniform. This makes them stand out so anybody who's looking for a police officer can find them really quickly. They also have special vehicles like a police car, a police boat or even a police helicopter. You might also know that the police sometimes work with special animals, that there are police horses and police dogs. And as police dogs, we're going to take a closer look at today. Now, police dogs help police officers in different ways, but perhaps the most powerful tool that they have is their amazing nose and their amazing sense of smell, which enables them to sniff things out from miles away they can find dangerous stuff that could hurt us, like explosives or illegal drugs that have been hidden away and help police officers make them safe. They can also use their amazing noses for tracking down people who are lost or are missing. And because dogs tend to be strong, fast and brave, they can also help the police catch criminals. Can any dog become a police dog? Is there any hope for my friends here? Well, maybe not. Most police dogs tend to be German Shepherds, Belgium Shepherds, Labradors, or some kind of Spaniel. Bad news guys, you're going to have to find a job elsewhere. And I'm going to have to give some equally bad news to our cat Lucy. Lucy, I'm afraid your application to the police academy has been turned down. I know, I'm sorry. Well, in further bad news Lucy, you may well have been too old anyway. Training for police dogs starts right from when they're a puppy. Now, today's story has a police officer and a police dog, but it takes a little while for the police officer to realise just how valuable the police dog is. The story is called Officer Buckle and Gloria. Now, this is Officer Buckle down here. He goes from school to school, talking to students, offering them safety tips. And here is his dog, his police dog, Gloria. She's got a few tricks. Keep your eyes peeled. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes they were snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Uh, never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle. But Mrs. Tipple didn't hear him. Then, one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, uh, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. Uh, she was. Safety chip, uh, number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. 
The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students of Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of glory on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favourite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phones started ringing. Grade schools, high schools and daycare centres were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said. Officer Buckle, they said. Our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then, one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo! Bravo! they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Natville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? C could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. And so did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat! Splatter! Sploosh! Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's it for the library class for this week. I'll see you in the next video. But in the meantime, keep discovering, keep exploring, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.